Okay, what's your name? My name is Sherry. And how long have you lived here? I've lived here 24 years, almost 25. What are your thoughts on your current garage? <laughs> Nightmares. <laughs> how did it get to this state? It kind of just creeped up on us. This was like, like your big drunk drawer, just storing everything and not taking things out. How are you feeling about doing some decluttering today? I'm excited. I want to get rid of a lot of stuff. What would you like this room to be? I would like for it to be organized and where I know where everything is. So when I need something, I can find it instead of just buying another one. So we'll probably find duplicates of a lot of stuff in here. It would be just nice to be able to easily find things and to actually know what we have. It would be amazing. It would be life changing. I'm excited. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Always starts off with excitement. We haven't done anything yet. Talk to me in an hour. <laughs> exactly. One hour and then four hours later and then eight hours later. About eight hours later, everything goes. That's when you grab a can of gasoline and a match. <laughs> but we've got help. We've got James coming. James Chrissy was here to help. So there's going to be four of us working on it. And then we've got this giant dumpster. And then we're also going to be donating a lot of stuff, doing basically like a free pickup, free pickup right. buy nothing. Okay, we're going to get started. It's a hot day today. It's about 94, 95 degrees. But here we go. The garage is so full that you really can't even enter it. There isn't really somewhere for me to walk. Um, I'm going to stand on this chair to just get a good bird's eye view. But yeah, this really is just a big giant dumping ground of a lot of stuff that's been collected. So the good thing is that my sister is ready to let go of things. That is going to make this whole process so much easier. How did it get to this place, Chrissy? I don't know. I'd like to say this is years and years of accumulation, but um, yeah. <laughs> How ready are you to declutter and let go of a lot of this stuff. So ready. Okay. I want my, I want my space back. <laughs> <laughs> you just want your life back? Yes. <laughs> you really can't access any of it, can you? Because no, you... we have the bikes. That, that's pretty much all you take no, out. Yes. I feel like we'll have more space in the house too. Like I want to bring the craft stuff out, declutter everything. What in the world? Like I can feel that it hooks right here, but. And then it's under that thing, so. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Otherwise, we would have just had to give up. <laughs> Here we go. We are starting at the beginning. How do you begin to even tackle a space like this? Well, number one, we come prepared with a giant dumpster because there's going to be a whole lot of trash in a garage this full. The second thing is to make sure to have your category. So we're doing a category of keep. That's what the grassy area will be. We've got a category for donate. That's gonna be the side porch. We've got all of the trash going into the giant dumpster and any boxes that need to be broken down will be placed next to the dumpster. So that way everyone has direction on where to go to place items as they make decisions. <sighs> Let's see, I think we're 20 minutes in so far. These are all keep items here, that's my stuff. That's keep items. This is where all the donate stuff is going. Slowly making a little walkway and a few items into the trash bin. Boxes that'll be broken down are going here. What is this? This trash room. Some kind of power tool. Bunch of chopsticks. Tools, when you are clearing out a garage that is a hoarding situation, which this garage definitely to me lands in the category of hoarding, there's so much volume of stuff, but you have to be meticulous and actually go through each item because you've got trash mixed in with valuable things, with unopened things. So it is a process and you do have to be thorough, but you can't do it perfectly. So you have to let go of the notion or the idea that you're going to perfectly recycle every single item. No, you have a dumpster and you're gonna fill it up, period. It has been one hour, I just checked the time. One hour and we're making progress. It's just so hot today. 
It's almost 100 degrees. Oh, God. Oh. That makes it so much harder to do this. Let me know if it doesn't fit. I see it's not. It's, just... it's been one hour. That's it. Yes, I checked the time. Desperation. The desperation. Like, I don't know. Let most of it go out. Let's keep on going. Hot's going? Oh, sure. You could keep that yellow one, I'd say. Okay, okay well, there's a few more. I'll bring them out and you guys can go through them. Maybe, like, give her the hat. I don't know if you have a lot. You know what it is. You, oh, you plan to plant things, but, yes, but you know what, then no. They've been there, yes. Yeah, it's so just, no, let's get rid of it. You're right. You can plan to donate. I don't know what that is. Trash. <laughs> I have no idea what the hell that is. Ask Christina, oh, she might know. Okay. Okay, starting hour two, I'm gonna tackle this whole zone. What about this here? Okay, what about this stuff? Trash. Do you see anything you think you're better than that? I need to have a t-shirt that says, I do not care. <laughs> Donate or what? Donate. Time for a lunch break and I want to thank my favorite factor for sponsoring today's video. The holiday season is stressful enough without having to worry about grocery trips, meal planning, prepping, cooking, cleaning just to eat something wholesome. Well, Factor puts my healthy lifestyle in autopilot. It has made the biggest impact on how easy it is for me to stick to my health goals, all while saving me time and precious energy. Factor is delivered to my doorstep every week and they are always updating their menu so I get a good variety. The meals are fresh, never frozen. They are chef prepared, dietitian approved, and only take two minutes popped in the microwave. And I love grabbing a green juice as an added wellness boost to my busy day. Factor is convenient, delicious. It saves me money. It saves me time. It is the best of the best. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code the Carla Project 50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. That's right, 50% off. Just head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code the Carla Project 50 to get 50% off your first factor box. Thanks again to Factor and let's get back to decluttering. That's the face of someone who's experiencing trauma. <laughs> <laughs> She's in shock. She's currently in shock. But the heat is just... Zapping. Well, yeah. It's really making it uh, so much harder. But it's also making the willingness to let go of things um, also higher. Should we be having a yard sale? Just get rid of all this stuff. No, no, just no. get rid of it? Yes. Okay. Remember, this is just the garage. We have the whole house. Oh my gosh. tired everyone's taking a break but the heat it's really it's so hot right now that's a tool we don't throw the tools tools are no no okay the garage it was a lot of boxes yes a lot of boxes. just a lot of empty boxes yeah you want those the hangers what is it Oh hangers? no, those hangers yeah. on the ground. No, because they were all in there. Yeah, yeah those are yeah. dirty. Okay, I don't know what this is. What is it? I don't know, cookbooks. No. No. I don't care. Yeah. Dining on, oh no, no, no. This are, these are, these are, I just got these. So the other stuff, I don't care. Okay. This is a sit up board, but these are, these are good. All of that can go into donate, so just put it on the porch side. All the, all the stuff that's going in the bin, start stacking right here and I'll start. Okay, okay. Because I, I don't know what's going on, what's staying there. Okay. You know what I mean? This is the yoga mat, and maybe this is huge. This probably can donate this, I guess. Okay, donate. Okay.
What's that? Keeper. Yeah, I'm gonna sell probably sell by itself. To keep it, you said? Yeah. Oh, okay. Can you use this for organizing. Donate in the table or is it staying? Donate? Yeah, we don't okay. have it. Mm -hmm. How heavy is it? I got it, I got it. Sure? Yeah. yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> the theme of today is don't even care. <laughs> I know people will say, how could you throw that away? But I don't know if you get the scope of what's happening in this room. Things that are covered with dirt, some broken stuff on the floor that gets on top of stuff. So those items that are no one would want to even touch without gloves going straight into the trash bin. Anything that's donatable that someone would want to, putting it in the donate pile. So we have a box pile over there okay. that will break down. Okay. These are air filters yes. too. You got, you got enough to last a lifetime now. Mm -hmm. The whole bag? What size are they? My size, you think? Take a look. What is this? Does anybody know? I have no idea. Oh, it's the drop cloth from one paint. Oh, okay. So we can keep that. Okay. Oh, I think these are too small for me. Yeah, probably. I don't need it. Donate? Yes. Yeah. So this donate, right? Yeah. You think Carl wants this stuff? What is it? The mirror? No. no. <laughs> Carl has the same problem. What about these old scooters over here? Um, we can donate those, I think. Watch out for the mirror. They can donate that. You donated the bag or food? Um, you can probably donate it. It's, it's a thing that goes in the back to put like groceries and stuff. Let, let's hold on to this just for a second because it might be for ordinary things. Okay. okay. What's kind of food? What it's, is that? Or? It's, cherry, it's a cherry light sculpture. That's pretty cool. I remember that. <laughs> is this inside it? I don't, I don't want it, but... Oh, yeah, I don't know what you used to. Oh, I lost that. I was trapped for Christmas. I was going to say, I don't remember. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. You want to do yours?
I've never been so exhausted doing a clean out. It's 5.30, so it's starting to cool down a little bit. And um, filling up the dumpster. Are you shocked at how much is in here? So shocked, yes. Oh, tiring, but looking so much better. All of this is stuff for donate. We're just going to give it away on the Nextdoor app, on Buy Nothing groups, and tell people to come by and take whatever you want. Stuff to keep that's going to be put back into the garage or into the house. This pile is the box pile that needs to be broken down. And this is where we're at with the garage. The crazy thing is my sister paid, I think either 600 or $800 to rent this dumpster. So not only do you have the expense of impulse purchases bought in the moment where you think, oh, I'll use this piece of exercise equipment or I'll buy this new electronic gadget and maybe it gets used a few times, maybe it doesn't and it ends up in a pile in the garage. So it costs money at the point of purchase and then when you want to get rid of stuff, it costs money to get rid of it. It also costs time, it costs energy. And the crazy thing is that at the point of purchase, you know when you're doing an impulse buy, you just buy it and think later. But then when you're decluttering, that's when you have to make so many decisions. So it's like your decision making, it catches up with you. In the moment when we just do impulse buys, we don't have to think. But later when it's time to declutter, you're trying to decide, okay, should I keep this? If I'm not gonna keep it, how am I gonna get rid of it? Do I donate it? Do I trash it? Do I recycle it? Do I have to take it to a local center? Do I have to call someone to come pick it up? There's all this other decision-making energy that goes into it. So if you can just make the right decision at the beginning, you save yourself just like a world of pain. And I've done it myself on a much smaller scale. I think we've all done it to varying degrees. And it hurts so much to make those financial mistakes. But yeah, they are lessons learned. Yeah, but it'd be good if we could at least like start a corner that's just keep stuff. I'm sure she will help. No, too old for that shit. <laughs> I think the gravity and the weight of all of this excess and all of this stuff has really forced a change on my sister and her buying habits and everyone in the family. Bless you. Long day. And everyone is tired. We're done. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> come here, little guy. I got him. Thank you, by the way. Come here, little guy. Let's go. Come on, come on. Sorry about that. It's okay. You get out of here. Go. No, no, no. Go. He got inspired. Tore up today. I rolled out of bed and came here. So much work to do, but it's very satisfying to be making our way around the perimeter today and actually sorting through the things that are more like donatable. So we're going to start on the shelf, one item at a time, and make decisions. Not everything is her, so 
Anything that's not yours that we need to put aside, you just tell me, but if you think we can let go of it. Okay, so for her to decide, I guess just put on that bin for now. Yeah. Rechargeable dynamo radio and flashlight. So that's a keep. Let's start a keep basket. Keep trash, right? I'm gonna trash. <laughs> Executive to see that. Donate. Tile cutter. He's just on his motorcycle bike. Gardening tool. We do need the gardening tool. Okay. Ex-husband ashes. <laughs> it's not out here by my choice. <laughs> sure. Because Chrissy's mad at me because I took her father's ashes from our fireplace and it's outside uh. by the side of the house. <laughs> Where's the home for this? Is you want to keep I it here? It inside the house. I so we have to bring it in before she. Okay. Do so you want to put this? This will go in the house. I guess so. She can uh, okay. That's that's way. keep. So just put um oh, maybe put keep. it with Chrissy's thing. Thanks, Carla. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got thrown away. <laughs> Oh, that's for her. Okay. Another one for her to decide? Yes. Camping fan with LED light. Oh, she wanted that. Okay. All season universal fit car mat. Extension cord. So oh, lithium. That, 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 I, I want that. Keep this. Put it on top of that. Yes. Trash. Trash. <laughs> <laughs> they might still be good. <laughs> Take one and try it. Swiffers, do you use Swiffer? Yes, we do. It's yes. this. Gardening. Too. You want to put it in the gardening See? basket for now? Yes. Oh, yes. Crystal. Gave away. Canter. Okay, you want to just put it in her pile? Flush mount light. And keep. Keep. Candy dish. Donate. Binoculars to spy on the neighbors. Keep. Keep. <laughs> <laughs> so this is hers to decide. Okay. That's hers. A step store. I want to keep that. When's the last time you used a step, step machine? I was looking for the step machine. Oh, Actually, I got a smaller one not knowing where this one was. See, so the question is, happens. when is the last time you used the step machine? <laughs> Even the smaller one you bought. Have you used it? I just, I just got it like two weeks ago. I know, I haven't <laughs> used it. Sewing machine? I guess I, I don't need to. This can just be trash, right? Yes. Old umbrella? Oh, tile cutter. Yes. Keith, need this oh, for the hoses? Okay, so finally. Can we toss this old thing? Sure. Should toss over. Aloe vera hand soap? Okay, so this is a key. This is okay. a paper. Towel holder. Cracking cubes? Are they hers? Yeah. What's this weighted vest? You want this? Yes. It's easy to work with you. Yeah, right? It helps to have someone to just yeah, take, because you, you get overwhelmed, but then if you do one item, you make a decision, it really starts to move quickly. Storage bins. We'll keep this for now. This okay. is needed to store stuff. If not, it'll go. Manual coffee grinder. Donate. Donate. Okay. Earl Grey tea. I actually like Earl Grey. 2024. Oh, okay. This yeah. Is key. So you'll bring that into the kitchen, right? Trash. What's that? Car mats. I think these are Christina's. What is that? It's a Lazy Susan. You know, oh, Lazy Susan. You'll use that, you think, for your kitchen? Yeah. You, okay, so let's put that in the basket with the other, with the Earl Grey. Old smoke detector, old cord, trash. <laughs> Looks okay. like these are brand new. What well, are they for? Let's go to a steamer. We can we can put that as a donate. We can put them all together. Is it a big steamer? Like you have to too hard to put in your car? Or? No, I can put them in my car. Oh, okay, so let's put these in the car. Okay. Yes. With the steamer. Okay. All right, we're going into the garage to continue working around the perimeter. Here we go. We have to move those chairs
you'll want to skip sorting through things when you keep finding bag after bag <laughs> as just happened she said oh this is all a keep and i said everything and she started laughing so that's how we know not everything in here is a keep <laughs> from next door just got here to pick up the last of our donation pile let me show you what we've got uh he'll he'll stay by me i think coffee table mirror clothes pillows shoes keyboard mirror baby stuff musical instruments shampooer suitcase good okay finding just old papers that we're going to recycle and then you think you're going to be done with these cabinets yeah oh i'm keeping we could but we could put stuff like tools and stuff in there. oh okay okay so this, this is good you, hey you guys this is good school paper right jay will you take this here okay paper thank you we've got more paper there oops oh, we were looking for this Drill. Drawers with the drawers. These are empty. 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 Alright. So tools are gonna go in here. This is a tool. 
Yeah, yeah, but then are you gonna forget it because you just had it in there? No, no, no. We're always looking for tools. Yeah, but you just said, oh, that you didn't oh, order. Oh no, because the, the, these weren't ours, so someone must have just stuck this in here. Now I've taken out the stuff. It's, become, it's ours now. Okay. So, no, 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 no. This is a good thing. We need a place to put all our tools because they're always we just been scattered all, all around. Okay. So this is, this is perfect for tools. It is 4 p.m. We're on day two. We're all taking a break right now because it is brutally hot. I don't know what I was thinking wearing a white t-shirt, but we've done so much. We have done so much. work in 96 degree heat. Yes, it's, so hot. it's been so hot, we're exhausted. What are your thoughts now that you see it in a pretty, pretty good state? This is amazing, We yes. know, we so know where everything space. is. Yeah. It's easy to get to stuff. Yes. And oh my Especially gosh, the I'm laundry thing, thing, everything's in its place. That's yeah. a huge, huge. I don't know if you feel like I have. <laughs> yes, yes. Exactly. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, she doesn't feel like she's missing anything. <laughs> That says a lot. We still have stuff that they're gonna sort through in the rafters section. This area is all cleaning stuff, cars for gardening. We've got our whole laundry zone set up. We've got more cleaning stuff, gardening stuff, tools, all the tools and supplies. I mean, as we clean out the house, then more stuff might end up in here, right? Not much more stuff at all will come in here. Okay, so do you, would you say the goal is to keep it pretty open and clear? Yeah. Otherwise, we're all done. Thank you for watching this episode. Thank, Thank you. you to them for being a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, James, for doing all the hard, hard labor of sweeping and shoveling. Leave a comment, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> yes. You can stand and put arms out. <laughs> Everyone needs a drink. I, soda. <laughs> I don't even think you need a mixer. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's crazy, right? Are you shocked? Yes. <laughs>